G'day and thank you very much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a new app that you can add to your mobile phone or tablet that's um, for specifically for DJI uh, Phantom and Mavic drone flyers at the moment, soon to be for Inspire um, and others as well. It's in beta and it's called Drone Harmony. Let me show you just exactly what it's all about. So good day once again, I'm Ozzy Mark. If you haven't already uh, met me before, welcome to my channel. And of course, if you find that anything that I offer in this video is interesting, it'd be awesome if you would like smash that subscriber button and uh, also the thumbs up so that uh, I can keep um, producing videos, bringing you fresh and new and interesting content that is drone related. In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about Drone Harmony, which is a software app that's um, still in beta at the moment but because it's still in beta, it's actually free still. So if you're willing to take a chance with the beta version of this, it sounds like it's something that's going to be really terrific. It's to do with planning waypoint missions. Now, some of you have got that um, functionality, of course, already on the DJI Go app, and um, a lot of you are using the Litchi app as well. Now, this one, Drone Harmony, allows you to plan things like you have never seen before. Let's go have a look. So we're here on DroneHarmony.com and as you can see, it's a flight planner for DJI drones, they're calling it, and the beta version is available for free, as I mentioned earlier. If we scroll down here, you will see, um, whoops, that what this app does is, first of all, it asks you to um, draw an area of interest Basically, it, that means you actually outline buildings um, or trees or bushes or areas that you don't want your drone to fly around, um, to hit, obviously, to be in the way. And then um, it, after that, you choose a plan, a way of which you want to actually fly your drone um, around that, those particular objects or features. Um, as you can see, let Drone Harmony tailor your plan for your scene, so um, you can tailor it to suit yourself. Then, of course, you do a review and adjust the plan that you've selected. Um, basically, that means that you can tell at each waypoint um, where you want it to face, how long you want it to face for, all the normal things that you would see in um, any other uh, application that's got a waypoint objectives. And then finally, you execute the flight. So the key features, planning and flying, it's all about getting high quality data quickly and consistently. So this particular um, app is great for flight professionals um, and you get better data faster, it says. Um, full 3D work environment, basically, yeah, you get to see um, in a 3D environment where you're going to be flying, uh, how high you're going to be flying, things that you probably don't get in these other versions. Uh, stunning cinematic videos. That's exactly why I'm suggesting that um, you guys give this a go. And uh, yeah, obstacle avoidance, reduce obstacle avoidance uh, to obstacle drawing and let Drone Harmony compute op optimal flights around them. So if we continue down the page, choose a flight catalog, look at the different um, types of flight modes that you can select. You could have it flying around the building at different heights and then maybe go up and over the top of the building. There's one where if it's the feet, the dot is the feature and as you can see this little funnel shape here, that's basically showing you what the drone can see. So you could fly, now that looks like a normal orbit um, flight except it's on an angle. So it's getting higher up here and lower down here. You could fly a uh, parabola arc. So if that's the feature that you're actually starting from, now you can do it both ways. Um, you can start at the top. So you're filming from directly above and come down and away or vice versa, be starting away, be heading towards the item and then up the top. Uh, you can do uh, oval rather than circles. You can be uh, flying your your orbit um, track, your orbit waypoint mission, but facing out instead of in. So you're actually 
just uh, it'll be looking out wherever whichever direction you fly. There's a similar one to this one above, except um, you're starting, it's the arc is reversed. So you can fly any shape basically around different, uh, different areas. What about this one, a helix? You can actually start right down low looking at your object or vice versa, of course. And as you slowly spiral, you're slowly moving, getting higher and higher and higher. Bet you can't do that um, with <laughs> your flight skills as perfectly as you could if you were using this application. And there's a, definitely other ones as well. So let's have a look at um, what the they're actually talking about further down here in record modes. These are different things that you can do with this application. Stop and shoot, where you stop at each waypoint to shoot a picture. Of course, you can just do a regular flyby, um, just follow the flight path and take pictures without actually stopping, which would allow you to, to uh, either reduce your flight time on the flight or take a longer mission because you don't have to stop at each waypoint. Interval shooting is another option, of course, shooting um, every so many seconds or meters per picture, um, allowing you to, you can also create hyperlapses that way. And of course, you can shoot in regular video. All right, so basically there you go. In step one, where you're defining the buildings and structures, you actually draw the outline around the buildings and the fences. You set the height there that you want the drone to stay away from. You can adjust those lines so that it fits perfectly around the building. As you can see, zoom in, tweak it. You want the drone to know exactly where the building is so it's not gonna run into it. And now it's just doing the same thing in fast version for the trees, bushes, the outhouses, setting the heights and what have you, adjusting them all. Once they're all done, that's the last one done there. Okay, so it's adjusting all of those, making sure they are where you want them to go. So that in step two, um, you can allow, the, allow it to actually select a flight path for you. You can set the lift off and landing as you can see, just the parameters. It's not a bad little app, I reckon. So there you go. It's actually suggesting way, ways that you could fly for yourself. Of course, you can pick your own if you want, flying around. Click the button in the bottom and you can see that's the 3D flight that it's suggested for you. And as you scroll around, see these, um, you can see what the camera's seeing. That's the angle of field of view, of course. And if you turned it around, whoops, as it comes around this way. And then it's also recommending a second flight if you were flying over the top. So it's working out exactly uh, how long, where it's got to go from now. Let's watch the flight. As you can see, there's the drone right there. And here we go. They press go and now it's flying its mission. And that's what you'd be able to see on your phone or tablet that you're using when you fly. Well, there you go. You must admit that's got some excellent potential for producing cinematic um, shots, sweeping shots and various different types of um, planned and programmed flights that are going to introduce a whole new perspective to your drone ed edits and your drone videos. And if you found that interesting and you decide that you're going to give Drone Harmony a go, I'd love to hear how you went with it. I'm still in the process of uh, bringing you some videos or at least one, if not more, hopefully many, many more to come using this particular app. I've got nothing to show you at the moment, simply because I had a little mishap with my drone yesterday. Nothing to do with this app though. And uh, I'll tell you about that in a future story if you haven't already seen it. So go try Drone Harmony. Tell me what you think. Thanks for tuning in again. I've been Aussie Mark. Don't forget, if you can smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, that would be awesome. I hope you have a fantastic day and all the best to you. Cheers, until next time.